Hey, Darren here. So you are new to Glide and you want to get your app set up and you want to invite somebody to work on it for you. Well, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that in this video. So here I am. I'm on GlideApps.com. This is where we're going to create the Glide app. But before we do that, let's go ahead and create a Google Sheet. Right now, all Google or all Glide apps are based off Google Sheets. So I'm going to come to my Google Drive within my Google account and create a new Google Sheet. Now, all uh, or your Google Sheet that you create needs to have two things. Uh, one is a name. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. So we'll just say test sheet. And it also has to have a cell with a value. So I'll just type in a value here. All right. So now that the Google Sheet is set up, we can go ahead and go back to Glide and start creating our account. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a new account. I'm going to sign up with Google to make it easy. I'm going to go ahead and go through that whole process and give Glide access to manage my uh, Google Sheets. All right, so here they're asking me to go ahead and set up a new app, but I'm going to do this later because before I do that, I want to create a Glide organization. So down here in the bottom left, we're going to add an organization. And this is like your company. And what it allows you to do is invite other people to come work on the apps with you. So I'm going to call this test org. What kind of organization is it? We'll say consulting. How will your organi organization's apps be used? These are for everybody. And how many people will use the apps? Well, let's go with 10,000 because we're awesome. Let's continue. And now we have this test org created and two more things to do. Uh, one is to create the app and the second, which we'll do first is add somebody to it. So this would be like your developer or your glide expert that's working on the project. I'm going to go ahead and type in here, Darren at amblemind.com. And this will be like me inviting that other uh, account to come work on things. And this is just saying they can view and edit everything pretty much. So what this, what this does is send your developer or your other person a email inviting them to come work on it with you. So you can see here, you've been invited to join test.org on Glide. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link in my other account. This is gonna bring me back to Glide in my other account, your developer, and they can then accept that invite. And then once they do that, they now have access to your org. And if we flip back over to your organization, and we refresh the screen here. We now see that they are listed as a member and they're an active member. And you can remove the other person at any time just by clicking remove here. So now that your other developer is in your organization, let's go to apps and actually create an app for them to work on with you. So I can go to um, apps here and then come to create app. Make sure you're not in my apps, but you're in test org or your organization. And then we'll go to from Google sheet. And so this is saying you want to create a app based on a Google sheet. And this is reaffirming that any member of your organization can access the data in this sheet. And the sheet we're going to use is test sheet. The one we just created. Oh, it says it has no data. So let's go back and double check that. It looks like I didn't exit out of the cell. So let me just make sure I did that. And then I can go back and try again. So there you go. You have to have at least one thing in the sheet for it to work. So I'm a new user. So it's giving me a little tour of Glide. I'll go to next. And then, um, Everything's all set up. Your developer can now access your Glide app and work on it. At some point, um, and I would encourage you to do it now, just to get it out of the way, um, you, you might wanna go ahead and upgrade your app. So free apps are limited in a few different ways, and I'm not gonna go through all of these, but what I typically recommend, because you get the most out of it, and it supports Glide, is to upgrade to a pro app. And this, uh, if I'm working on an app, I'm using some of these features. So um, yeah, so things like, having being able to manage more data upload more pictures less transaction fees if you're you know uh, accepting payments in your app background sheet reloads you can add a custom domain so you can do like app.yourwebsite.com 
um, get Google Analytics, track traffic, all of that um, is is good stuff. You also get Glide Glide branding removed. Um, so really, really nice. And so I would encourage you to go and do that. If you're weary about it, then don't worry about it. But so $32 a month, you can pay yearly by clicking here, continue through. You're likely going to be on a public app and, and not a private one, unless you're told differently. And then you can continue on and go through that whole process. And I'll leave that one to you. So that is how you create a new Glide account, create an app based off a Google Sheet, upgrade that app to Pro if you so desire, and then add a developer to come work on this project with you.